Virtual water is the hidden flow of water embedded in food or any other commodities traded from one place to another. The concept of virtual water helps us realize how much water is needed to produce different goods and services. Consumption of water can be divided in indirect and direct uses. Direct water is the water that we drink. We use to wash our hands, take a shower, jump in the pool, and any daily use you may think of. Indirect water is the hidden flow of water embedded in food or any other commodities traded from one place to another. Virtual water trade can be implemented in a sustainable way if we know how much water is embedded in our goods. Here are some examples. The real water used to grow and produce commodities is no longer contained in the product. When a country imports food, it is saving water. Real indigenous H2O. Desert or arid areas should discourage export of food or any goods to prevent large quantities of H2O from being exploited. It takes a huge amount of water, more than you think, in the extraction of fossil fuels to produce fertilizers and any artificial energy. What can we do? Our behavior in water consumption reduction is crucial. Our decision, demand, and drive influence the distribution of water resources and water pollution. Therefore, it is essential to reduce, recycle, and reuse water resources. Here is some advice. Drink tap water, not bottled water. To reduce directly wasted fossil fuels used in the production of plastic bottles and transportation of the product and keeping them cold in the fridge and indirectly saving water throughout the process of this servant. Full loads of washing clothing. Wash only as needed. Shut the water off when you brush your teeth. Taking a shower as fast as possible. Not thinking water is infinite and so on. Educate yourself. Make a connection with nature. See where water is coming from will give us the right and the chance to use water in a sustainable way.